Hey YouTube, Thrift Hunter here with this week's garage sale and estate sale finds. Uh, it's still been very slim pickings. There's not a whole lot here and nothing of a whole lot of value, but I'll just kind of go through what I found. Uh, starting up first for one dollar, a little piece of uh, towel sterling. Kind of see it there. There you go. Just just the lid, of course. You never find the whole thing. I took the uh, little handle off already. This weighs 80 some grams, and that was a dollar. So, a pretty good deal there. And for five dollars, uh, just a little paperweight. It's got a label on the bottom, it's by Dynasty, which is a made in China paperweight, but might be able to make some money on that. Let's see, I got this little dish. Uh, it doesn't look like anything special, but it is sign somewhere here on the bottom signed right there signed by somebody no idea who it is but there you go that was a dollar for two dollars I picked up a uh, telegraph key kind of an old one it's a little rusty on the bottom it's probably about a twenty dollar piece I got a pair of uh, spurs they are not matching spurs, they were just hung up on somebody's wall. I bought these for a couple of bucks a piece. They're just kind of cool. Probably not much value there. Um, I got this giant copper weather vane, as you can see here. It uh, looks like it's been run over a couple times. Um, the tail is supposed to be like this long, it's supposed to be a lot longer. Um, so this is all beat up and broken, but it was only $5 and it's copper and it's about 100 years old so I've got it up on my eBay hopefully someone will make an offer on it it's kinda cool over here I got a uh, Louisville Slugger um, only five dollars uh, this is a Barry Bonds one little coca-cola Giants fans it's kinda cool um, it's in okay shape you know it's got some dings and scratches and stuff it's got a big slice right there you can kinda see but for five bucks, Louisville Slugger. This is probably about a thirty dollar bat. And moving on, I got a couple belt buckles, uh, little designer belt buckles. I was hoping that this one might be silver because it kind of looks like it, but it's actually supposed to look antique. Um, it's done that way on purpose. Um, same thing here, belt buckle. I paid a little bit too much for these, but we'll see. Um, and with that same lot, I got this necklace, which actually is sterling silver. Um, the whole thing and it weighs about 30 grams. So I, I paid a bunch of money for these three, but this one should pay for it. Not too bad. Um, I bought a couple spoons. Um, these were a dollar a piece. I bought about six of them, and these are the ones that turned out to be silver. So this one's silver, and this one's silver, and this big one's silver. I tested it a couple times. Um, it's got a mark on it that I'm not familiar with. It's got the little 40 there. I don't know what that means. And then it's got another mark. But it tested silver. I tested it really good, so it's a good score there. A little bit of uh, costume jewelry. Just some nice pins and stuff. And I didn't spend more than a dollar or two on any of these. Um, little pearl. I think this one's Coro. Probably these are Coro. Um, these ones, I don't know. A little gold filled bracelet. Um, I got this. I think this was like five bucks. Just a little bolo tie. And uh, last are my two little injured guys here. Um, this is a snail and it's got a broken antennas there. But this one is signed uh, Steuben. So this is Steuben Glass. Um, in good shape, it's about a hundred dollars, but broken, uh, I don't know. If I get fifteen bucks for it, I'll be pretty happy. Um, but this was a dollar. Um, this one is injured, but I, I'm pretty positive I'll get a little bit of money for this. Um, you can see the the beak there; it's all busted. That's just a piece of metal on the end. But this is a uh, a mycin figurine. You can see the uh, cross swords there. Um, my second mice and the second one I've ever gotten. I, I really never thought I would get another one, but 
Here it is, and it was a dollar, and it showed up at a church sale. So someone's broken uh, old mice and figurine. Pretty cool. Broken like this. I don't know. Perfect shape. It's about two hundred dollars. Broken. If I get forty, forty bucks for it, fifty bucks for it, I'll be really happy. But odds are, I'll probably only get like twenty. The way people have been bidding lately. But that one, I'm pretty sure will sell. The snail, I'm not so sure. So that's all of it. Not a whole lot here this week. Hopefully we'll have some more finds next week. Thanks for watching.